Hey, welcome back to our channel. Let's take a look at Cadbury's World at Birmingham. When we arrived, we didn't realize the microphone wasn't working. Total schoolboy error. However, it does pick up later on. This was my first visit to Cadbury's World in probably about 25 years since a school trip. Claire and the kids have never been to Cadbury's World. The attraction is now part of the Merlin Annual Pass and well worth a trip. As we walked in, we was given three full bars of chocolate each, which was fantastic. And we bought the small Cadbury's bag for one pound. We planned on buying the bag as we entered as a nice cheap little souvenir we didn't realize at the time we would get handed chocolates as well and of course after giving you the chocolates they ask if you want to buy the bag because you, you kind of need it pretty smooth way of making some extra coin you're taken on a self-guided walkthrough journey throughout the history of chocolate which introduces us to john cabaret who in 1824 created well, Cabri, then being joined by his brother Benjamin in 1847 to form the Cabri brothers and carries on through to the present day. You start deep in the immersive Aztec jungle with some nice animatronics and interactive screens. They're very welcoming, as you can see. By the way, at this point, we had driven three hours on what seemed to be the hottest day of the year, so we probably don't look too fresh. Oh, so we have to make some chocolate, do we? What's that one? A boat. See if Claire knows how to make the chocolate in real life. Not just make believe at home. <laughs> I thought we were just going to make chocolate. Absolutely roasting outside. I'm hoping the chocolate's not melted, to be honest. We're actually learning the stuff as well. What's this? Oh, that. This is just bags of seats droppings. Get rid of it. What sort of treasure ship is this? Definitely not in the jungle now. London. Also, because like as a pacifist, we couldn't join the army or navy. And so trade and commerce were the only areas where Quakers could focus their ambitions and prosper. I was apprenticed as a tea merchant in Leeds, where I set up my business in 1824 to trade tea and coffee. I also sold cocoa nuts. I prepared myself chocolate and coffee beans. In my spare time, I experimented with preparations of cocoa beans and chocolate, which I could sell in the shop. <coughs> Soon I had to rent a warehouse in nearby Crooked Lane, where I could manufacture these products on a larger scale. <laughs> Didn't expect the seat to move like that, did we? <laughs> Revolving tubular gas-fired ovens. The beans are then cooled. Ready to have their shells removed through a process called Oh, the thing again. Next time we're going to go into a ride. So I think this is just like a proper Cadbury's factory, isn't it? That they've just made into like a bit of a tourist attraction. So as you walk into Cadbury's world, you're basically taken through a couple of different shows, which are all pretty fun and interactive, to be honest. I'm showing you the processes of how they made chocolate back in the early days, up until today's world with all the different processes along the way. I'm just saying when I make my chocolate, I don't have a machine as, as big as this. <laughs> Paddy the penguin. Yeah, more education as we walk through. I didn't realize Bourneville was part of Cadbury's until today. So this is called the time tunnel. And again, it's just education everywhere, telling you the complete history of chocolate. Oh, that's Claire, that is from, from home. That's exactly what she looks like in the kitchen. Claire's impressed at the values of Cadbury's and she wants to work there, I think, now. Like, tons of stuff that the Cadbury's angels used to get. Yeah, obviously ahead of the time, but they've got like workplace values and all that. It's incredible. So we're going for a play zone. This is your CV basically. This is like your interview to come work for Cadbury's. <laughs> These are what you've got. Pretty much. Do not eat the chocolate. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I have got no that idea. <laughs> oh, here comes Claire to show off. Look at that. Mm. Claire's 
Claire's really showing off now. Look at that, that's all joined up and everything. <laughs> it was difficult, I was holding the camera when oh, I was... Uh, I'm doing it one-handed as well. When I was typing, <laughs> typing, tempering. All the Cadbury's chocolates from days gone by. I remember Cadbury's roses, but they still make them. Yeah. Are they? Yeah. You're going to be a Cadbury's angel by the end of this, Freya. Yeah, this is how they used to cool chocolate down many, many years ago. So when the chocolate was very, very hot, and then... Okay guys then, welcome to Have A Go. Hello little princess, how are you doing? Have you had a good day at Cadbury World so far? Right then, you will be cooling chocolate down the old fashioned way guys. So I'm going to show you how they used to cool chocolate down and you're also going to get the dough. So here's the chocolate. Whee! So what we're going to do is first Spread the chocolate out, you can make a little heart shape, there we go. Oh, that's good. You've got this big one here though. Try to Clever. make a heart shape, there you go. That's it. Make a heart? Yeah, there you go guys. Have a play. That's good. And then what we're going to do is spread the chocolate out like this. Spread. Spread it out very good. Spread it out. You're doing such a wonderful job and you're doing it really, really well. And then what I want you to do is grab your fish tail and like this. There you go, right across there. So I am showing you, if you do not do this, your chocolate will be cold here, warm here, hot here, dull here, with white streaks, which is the cold cover are coming through. So you need to bring it all together, hold your knife still, and then up and down. You've not learned this skill yet, Claire. Hold the knife still, you're doing fantastic. Hold the knife still and up and down you go, little princess. Here we go, look. Oh, look at that. So you'll get nice shine wow. to the chocolate. Spreading it out and then you can do it really slow and you can do the twister, which is actually twisting it around. Look. We can do it slowly, we can do it really, really fast that like You're struggling, Claire. Yeah. Things going on at the Look at that, that was amazing. Yeah, yeah. You've done really, really good. Okay. Carry on. Is that, you've got to cut it into strips now, haven't you, like that man did? I'll show you a little trick that you'll like. Hopefully. Wow. Well. <laughs> Making all the chocolate. Wow. Stick together. Look at that. That's amazing that. Can you do that? <laughs> I'll let you do something no one's allowed to do here. Uh-oh. Okay. Special good one. You're going to make a chocolate hand print, hand print. Is she okay with that? Yeah, yeah. So what you're going to do, get your hand and then make it there. But no, here, here. So put it in here. Hold on. <laughs> Hold it there. And... Oh. Hold it, hold. Oh yeah, be careful with that. And pick your hand up. Wow. Oh, wow. With your fingers. And you got no <laughs> fingers. <laughs> fingers. Put two more fingers in there. <laughs> be careful with that <laughs> chocolate knife. <laughs> yeah. Do I do it again? Put your only fingers in? you got to make sure you push your hand down. <laughs> no, you're the first person that allowed to do that. <laughs> wow. Girl, that's Yay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So good. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you so much. See you much. soon. Bye bye. Thank you for that. That was amazing. <laughs> Luckily, there's a handy sink right next door. <laughs> okay. Whisper was always a good chocolate. Yeah. Never seen them before. Green screen experience. Oh wow, so it looks like you can uh, add your own uh, like design to your own bar, like your own face on a chocolate bar. Oreo is always a favorite. Yeah, I think we know all of them. I don't, I've never seen these before though. Jelly popping candy. I don't know, jelly and chocolate, that's not really my idea of a good time. Yeah, so we just went through the green screen thing, but 
Like we've just drove for like two and a half hours in a roasting hot car. We're sweating. We look disgusting, let's be honest. So yeah, we chose not to and they were just pretty cool with it. They were like, yeah, just walk on through. Oh, 30 minute queue time. <laughs> well, this is cool. This is not Cadbury's though, is it? Carte Dior? Carte Dior, that's not Cadbury's. I'm sure that's not. It must be. Is it? Let me know in the comments if it is. Ah, oh, finally, it's so roasting. Need a drink. Oh. What about about 10 quid each? I was joking about the 10 pound. I think they're two pound 50 a bottle. Oh wow, still a black. Becomes the uh, TV face of Cadbury's. I have no idea. Jasmine. She looks a little bit like Jasmine, doesn't she? What do we recognise? So yeah, got, got, got. Which one would you go for? I don't, think I've, I don't think I've seen them before. Which one would you go to? Uh, well, I used to like the, the crunchies, but I've not seen them in a bar like this before. Turkish Delight ones, I've not seen them. I've not seen the wafers. Someone's been hiding all this from me. <laughs> we don't really eat a lot of chocolate, do we? I like that one. You like the bubblies? Yeah. I'm not a fan of fruit and nut. I'll eat it if it's there, but I'm not a fan. Oh, a Cadabra ride. We've got a ride to go on, Freya. Welcome to Cadabra. Smile for the camera. We're going to go on a magical Cadbury journey. I hope you enjoy the Cadbury magic. This is like the Cadbury's journey for younger guests. There. You can actually do a character breakfast or character dining, I think. Or it's they're planning on making it anyway. Here comes the camera. <laughs> Welcome to Beanville, slow down. This needs a Cadbury's version of It's a Small World song playing on loop over and over again. It was a bit too late for Freddo's magic show, sadly. We didn't get it till four o'clock, did we? No, there's something on the Firefox Friday we can watch. Yeah, there's still a 4D show, I think, but not, uh, not Freddo. Oh, the Easter Bunny. Or an Easter Duck, I should say. Bunny? Duck? You know what I mean. Oh. Oreo is fun. Oh, marshmallows. There you go. Don't worry. I'll not that Thank you. Cheers, thank you. Oh, so these are toppings then, are they? Yeah. Oh, right. So I thought she was making a chocolate bar, but these are toppings. Then I guess we go over there, do we? With the dairy milk underneath it. Oh, there's dairy milk under there as well. Oh, that's good. Wait, what did you get? Oh, I got the sauce and marshmallows. Oh, a replica of the Birmingham ball. Made completely out of chocolate. Yeah, so all this is made out of chocolate as well, is it? Mm -hmm. Was it St. St. Edward's Crown? Mm -hmm. You gotta make it good. Jay was good. <laughs> Jay, I've said, yeah, yeah. Is he a show off? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like the face of Capri World. He's on all the uh, TikToks and Instagram. All oh, right. <laughs> Different, yeah, it's I'll different. I'll tell you how it's done, how it's, it's, it's like, how Jay makes it all. Yeah, it's, it's a different type of show, that's yeah, fine, that's fine. It's yeah. It's still good. It's still impressive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're better than it. I love it. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Th
Yeah. There we go. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have to learn because when I first started, I'd go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know how to read the mantra nowadays. Yeah. 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 He, he, he did, he did backflips while he was doing it as well, so, yeah. <laughs> so the, that was show, this is for go, so, you know. So that's made the chocolate's ready, so you've mixed all the chocolate up, it's made nice and cold, which are looking around 28 degrees, I'm not allowed to eat it, so I've got it here, okay, and then pop it into the mould, and spread it out, and as you get spread it out, all your little Air bubbles are in there, so a minute ago, I've collected loads of air bubbles. And if you don't get them out, it causes little holes in the chocolate, so what we do. Tap! Tap! Can you see all the little bubbles? Now, this is shallot, so if you want to add a filling, then we'll shower your chocolate. So you know that milk tray, they've got like the strawberries and caramels in. So a long time ago they did this way, so I have to take the middles out like this, leave the chocolate for about 10 minutes. I'm going to show you after 10 minutes what it looks like. So remember this chocolate here, I'm leaving it at the side so you can see it in the centre. So see this chocolate? So what we do is use our spray pan. Now normally this gives a curly whirly effect, you see? Oh yeah. So that's where they got the idea of the curly whirly from. There we go. So there's your filling. Parts, so you can get a pipe and bag, you fill it all the places. Someone could sit there for eight hours and they would like the strawberries, the orange, the hazel, and the caramel. Wow. Uh, pipe and bag's basic, the decorators use them there, just similar to an icing bag. So you can see these ones here, so they come a click, you'll hear the click, and then a tap, and then you can put your chocolate bar, yeah? And there you go. Little chocolates. And if you see any little orange marks on them, Perhaps like this one here, that is where the chocolate is warm, and that means you need to temper it a little bit more. And but thank you so much for watching. And thank you. Your day. Take care. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's a funny looking chocolate, isn't it? Advertising Avenue. What's down here? Oh, it's dark down here, isn't it? These are old adverts. Mm. I must say, this is very, this is very chocolatey, but it's very, it's very thick. I, I couldn't finish mine. No. It's very sweet. I've had a couple of bites. I'm not going to finish anymore. What about you, Freya? You like it? She's working away from it pretty much. I did ask for a marshmallow and an Oreo, like two separate, one for each, and they gave Freya Oreo and marshmallow. Oh, right. <laughs> so that's why there was a bit of a confusion. Oh, right, okay, because yeah, I ordered about five times. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very nice chocolate, it's just very thick. Curly Whirly. I was never a fan of Curly Whirlies or fudges. I just want plain chocolate. I don't want. Well, maybe caramel, but I don't really want anything in it. Okay, chocolate dog. I <laughs> oh, can't see the sign because it's so dark on the camera, but uh, talking about their Coronation Street sponsorship. I don't know if that's still ongoing. What you got? What you got there? Let's get to the end. Three. Oh, fresh. <laughs> oh, you didn't deliver the milk. Ooh. The music shot. Now, this is one of my favorite tunes. Uh, he's going bananas. Oh, some kind of kids' play area for Free Fry. What's this? Oh, these are, uh, what are these called? Haribos. No, these are not Harry Bows. These are the licorice salts. Licorice salts, yeah. Press to plant seed. Oh, and there goes the seed. Pump for rain. We have to do this. I think we have to do this. 
There's no rain. Look, it's growing. My little seed's growing. That's good. Yeah. Do we need more winds? Need so you've got to press that button for winds, I think. Oh, so there's no, oh. I was expecting actual rain and stuff inside. It's growing, see if we can grow it bigger than their tree. Yeah. Building cocoa trees or <laughs> plants. More wind. <laughs> more wind, we need more wind. Not enough rain, uh, zoom in on that. Oh yeah. That's good. Well, this is a full on operation. Yay, look, we made we made cocoa beans. Yay, congratulations, you have harvested your crops in time. And like any good attraction, you leave through the gift shop. Ah, oh, the caramel bunny. No, it's called bunny. Called bunny. Probably some good deals to be had, but I do want to say that the Merlin Annual Pass is amazing. It's amazing value for everything you get, considering the prices of the attractions. Very satisfied indeed. Claire's found a bargain. Three pounds. Do you get a discount on that as well, like 20% discount? I don't know. Is that a good price? Three pounds? Sounds like a good price. I want chocolates this big. Love me some Toblerone. So these, these are five pounds. So does that mean they're six twenty-six in real life? Yeah. So we don't eat enough chocolate to know if like this is a good deal or not. I'm assuming it is. Offer of the week. These are seven pounds, saving two ninety-nine. Miss shapes. Four pounds. They look fun. I mean, we were given a big bag of chocolate as we walked in for free. To be fair. So yeah, it looks like they're doing up the store at the moment. Ooh, yeah. There's a big like outdoor playground thing and that 4D Freddo show, but kind of lost now. Hopefully we haven't got to go all the way back inside to find it because we're in like the, uh, we're through the gift shop now. Anyway, we found it. Looks like you need to go outside and then follow the signs. Oh, look at this. I like this. That's what I was wondering about. Yeah, so it's, it's outside of the actual attraction, but you have to be a ticket holder. So you have to have a day ticket to be able to come through. And that's the building we were just inside. So the 4D chocolate adventure is this way. Table tennis tables as well, special Cadbury ones. Ooh, this looks fun. I think it's just us. Yes, yeah, so it's like a big movie theatre. The 4D show was lots of fun. We wasn't allowed to film inside, but it was about a five minute show. We were taken on a journey with Freddo, Cabri Bunny, as well as other characters. The seats moved, they vibrated, along with some weather effects. The show was quite short, but we all thoroughly enjoyed it. Even Freya, who's four, had a great time. And the staff inside the cinema were fantastic, which indeed they were throughout the whole of Cabri's world. Penny presser. Sanitize your hands with chocolate by the looks of it. Now we get to have fun in the adventure playgrounds. Oh yeah. Ah, so this side is for only two to five year olds. So we're allowed to go in. Ah, and over there is five to 14. Rock climbing. <laughs> oh, that's scary. Wow. Yep, so let's go in the bigger one. Yeah, this one's a bit bigger, isn't it? Look at how big you are. Hi. All the way up there. There's tons of little secret hiding places in this one. This is a good fault. Wish I was 14 still. Oh, hello, you're gonna go up there, are right? you? I had to rescue her. Oh, you had to rescue her, <laughs> did you? I should have used that excuse. Sounds like she's walking down the slides. Oh! What's going on there? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you were running down it, not sliding down it. I was sliding, I was, I was running down it at the top and then sliding. That was a good little 4D show. Wasn't really expecting something to be oh, like so good. It was really good, <laughs> yeah. it was really fun. But, I, but the hills wasn't good for me. The hills wasn't good for yeah, you. Yeah, the, the, there was like wind effects and like the floor was shaking or the I chairs like were shaking it. I should I say. Like yeah, wasn't expecting something to be so good. She was um, holding her tummy at, at like halfway through, just, just sat like that. <laughs>
Just finished our first ever trip together at Cadbury World here at Birmingham. What do you think, Claire? Good, bad? I really enjoyed it. It was a really fun day out. Um, all the little interactive things with all the, the chocolate makers and everything was fun. Um, the ride that we did at the end was the best bit for me. I think it was great. It was really fun. We had I had a great day. Yeah, it was kind of like, I don't know, there weren't, it was like a lot of education. Mm. It wasn't like full on theme park, like indoor theme parky attraction type no, of thing. No, no. But a lot of, it, lot of education anyway. So I think after the, the first bit, it becomes a lot more fun anyway. Yeah. But... My favourite bit was um, with the glasses one and the chocolate. We bought, bought the little bag, it's just a pound for the bag. And we got, we just got a selection. We've got Whisper, Caramel, um... Yeah, Whisper Caramel and Dairy Milk. So we've got three of each. It's, I think as for tickets here, I think it's something like, I think it's £18 for an adult and a toddler, five years and under. So that would have been great for like you two. But then I think it's eighteen ninety five for an adult ticket. But it's part of our Merlin passes, like we said earlier on. So, you know, we'd definitely be back. I don't think I'd buy a ticket to the place, but because it's part of the... It's a bit like Peter Rabbit over at yeah. Black Belt, um, over at Blackpool. I, I did think that earlier. I did think, uh, like, I'm glad we've not had to pay extra for it. Anyway, until next time, let's chip.